the age of exploration has dawned upon the world of Arcadia. Brave adventurers set sail across the vast skies in search of treasures untold. And where there is treasure, there will be air pirates. Hey everyone, Courant here, welcoming you to a new Let's Play, a blind Let's Play, of Skies of Arcadia Legends. The original Skies of Arcadia came out in 2000 for the Dreamcast, and was ported over to the GameCube in 2003. It is, from what I've heard, a traditional RPG, well, semi-traditional RPG at least, and many people have told me that this is a bit of a, bit of a hidden classic, so... I'm excited to uh, get this started. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for a while. I've been intending to do this for a while, I should say. Uh, it's been on the agenda. But I've had other Let's Plays to do, so yeah, here we go. I don't know really anything about the game aside from <laughs> uh, what's here in the last probably two minutes or so. And so yeah, I'm going to be learning about this. Well, if you guys are watching and you're new, then I'll be learning about it along with you. If you've already played this before, then, well, I'll try not to make too many stupid mistakes, but it is a blind play, so they're going to be made every now and then. I will say, uh, before we move forward with this, is I will uh, not move to the continue, apparently. I will say uh, I would welcome general advice. Uh, don't be spoilery, please, because I want to experience this game for myself. I want to experience all of the... Uh, transitions and all of the plot stuff and everything. I want to experience it all on my own for the first time. So I want to play this. You know, I want to keep it as true to the legacy of being blind as possible. And I guess I should have watched that second one. Oh well. Whoopsie. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I was hoping it wouldn't go back into that long um, original cutscene. But anyway. So yeah, uh, I want to discover it for myself, but if you guys want to give me sort of general hints to help me along if I need it, uh, if I need something specific as far as I can't figure something out, then I will directly say it. But other than that, yeah, let's go ahead and head into the world of Arcadia. Do I wish to enable the rumble feature? You know what? My controller has rumble, so why the frick not? You guys might hear it on recordings. I'll try to edit it out as I can, but hey, just makes it a little more fun, doesn't it? Okay, I can go to options and turn it off. Works for me. Oh, okay. Hi, we have airships already. 
and you guys are big and metal, so I'm assuming you're the bad guys? Possibly? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, hi. Okay, this is starting to remind me a little bit of the beginning of Star Wars Episode Four, in a way. I mean, we got big giant ship coming after a wee little one there. Oh, hi. Ha ha ha. We finally found her. Admiral Alfonso! Her ship's in range of our cannons. Excellent. Prepare to fire concussion shells on my command, but avoid hitting her ship directly. We need her alive so we can question her. Gee, let's not make any bones about you being the bad guy. Fire! Oh dear, this is bad. No, we can't shoot the pretty lady down! Come on! It'd be a bad RPG if we killed the pretty lady right at the beginning of the game. Oh, well, we did knock her out, apparently. Well, they did, I should say. Your Excellency, the girl has been knocked unconscious, but she's unharmed. She's been taken aboard our ship. <laughs> the Empress will be very pleased with me. I'm sure to be rewarded. Rather handsomely, I might add. What? Where did that come from? It sounded like an explosion. Status report, now! The, the lower hull has been hit! Someone's attacking us! <laughs> I love the look in his eye! Attacking us? Who would dare attack a vessel of the Imperial Armada? There's a small ship hiding in the clouds off the port side. The, that flag! Air pirates! Right row! Hey! How's it going, guys? Oh, apparently we're gonna have ourselves a boarding action here. Okay, and you're obviously the captain of this vessel if you're doing cool crap like that. Air pirate scum, don't you know that we're valuing Imperial soldiers? Of course I know. That's why we attacked your ship. You guys have the best stuff. <laughs> I like his attitude already. Oh, okay, we have a little bit of voice stuff in this game. Interesting. I'm Vice of the Blue Robes, and in a few minutes, I'll be relieving you of all your valuables. Heh <laughs> attacking us all by yourself? You're either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid. We'll be tossing you overboard. Wait, wait for me? Lady, I assume? From the name. Oh, yep, yeah, it's a chick. Vice, you left without me. I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, hi, I'm Aika. I'm a blue rogue like Vice, and we're robbing you. You dare mock the value in Empire with your insolence? Kill them, and toss their corpses over the side. Well, screw you too. And I guess we get the tutorial. <laughs> Alright, so... Yep, this looks very traditional in a lot of ways. Alright, let's see. Running, which we can't, and we won't. Uh, let's see what items I have. I have it's my equipment, my armor, and okay, I guess just regular stuff. Uh, is there any way to see? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Improves hit percentage. That's good. And uh, wait. Oh, we got to go out of that, don't we? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And oh, all right. Uniform of the blue robes. And then, of course, the swar. I said the sward. There we go. Okay. From gift from his father dying. Okay. Huh. Okay, so apparently Dine was an air pirate too, so I'm guessing anyway if he's giving him all this stuff. Alright, let's see. We've got guard, which we're not going to do. Attack. S move. I have no idea what that is. Oh, special move. Okay, I can't do that yet, I guess. Uh, does that have to do with, I assume, the whole two of eight thing that's up here at the top? I'm guessing, at least. 
Okay, magic, which we have none of. Focus, which I'm not sure what that does. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and attack right now. All right, so we've got you. We've got you. Uh, you know what? Let's go get the nearer one, I guess. All right, Ika. Let's see what you've got here. You have a boomerang. Okay. All right, so interesting choice of weapon there. Ika's favorite boomerang. All right. Ika's shorts. Well, oh, we can... Ah, interesting. I was just playing around, but... Okay, let's go back to the normal view, shall we? <clears throat> Ika's shorts. Given to her by Vice's mother. Okay, uh, sure. And then Flash Ribbon, which improves quick. I have no idea what that does, but I'm sure I'll find out. Alright, guard attack. Uh, you can't... Okay, you don't have special move. What does Focus do? I don't know. I guess we'll just find out while we're in the tutorial. Okay, so that moves up the... Ah, alright. I'm betting that does have to do with the special ability type stuff. And this is clearly a tutorial. Very clearly a tutorial. Because we can rip them senseless and they can't hardly do much to us. Alright, so that does not open up the special move yet. SP7. Oh. Yep. Okay. Got it. Alrighty, so... I guess we'll go ahead and just keep attacking. And... You know what? Never mind. Let's have you focus and have you attack, because I want to see the boomerang in action. Oh, well, it, it didn't quite kill him. Oh, whoopsie. I was kind of hoping it would, but I guess not. And it doesn't really look like the charging up or focusing was even all that necessary anyway, because now we've opened up our special attack, and I figure we might as well use it against the soldier that's most not dead. So, you kill him. Here goes! And Vice, you special attack everything in sight. Alrighty. Oh, uh, that, that did the trick. I think he's dead. Just checking. You might want to get a pulse. Nah, he's dead. Huh, that was easy. Okay, so there is some voice stuff in this game. It just doesn't seem to be particularly prominent right now. Okay, so let's see, three experience and then, okay, let's see, green experience, red experience. Uh, I will mention, one of my commenters, Mr. Toasty, has informed me a little bit about these different colors and such, what they can mean, what they end up doing, and I figure I'll learn about that as I go. I am a very kinesthetic sort of learner, so I kind of have to learn by doing anyway. I definitely appreciate the advice, let me say that first off. It's something that I'll look at, and I'll also probably learn as I go through the game, so... Alright, let's see... Okay. Moving on. There's no point in resisting. Throw down your weapons and hand over your ship. Imbeciles! What do the two of you think you can do against the five of us? Take them out! Uh, I don't think it's just the two of us. Oh, hi, Dad. I think you miscounted. I only see four of you. Dad! We'll take care of these guys. Make your way to the bridge and shut down the engines. And when we're out here, remember it's Captain, not Dad. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, Ika, shall we go introduce ourselves to the captain of this ship? I'm ready when you are. All right, let's go find the bridge. Let's go. Okay, well, he said it too. <laughs> oh, oh, exploration time. Okay, let's see. Uh, anything we can open? Oh, hi, okay. No idea what a Sacri Crystal is, but I'll take it. Okay, so X is my, yeah. Sorry, sorting out my buttons here. So X is my menu button. Okay, A looks to be my sort of action button. Uh, B doesn't do anything. Y changes the camera to first person. Okay. All right. Let's see. My C stick is my camera. L or the uh, analog stick is my movement, and D pad's my movement too. But I'm more familiar or better with analog sticks. Let's see. Okay, that also changes the camera if I need to. And the I think I've got this mapped as the Z button changes the map on and off. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Let's see, I'd prefer the camera to move a little bit faster. 
Let's see, can I actually change anything with that? Okay, options, let's see what we've got. Uh, I cannot, okay, so there's not very many options to do stuff with. I have no idea what party spirit is, but I figure I'll find that out too. No. Okay, I like this though, you can change the settings as far as their status and such very easily. Nice. And is this how you... Uh, that is not how you do it, okay. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay, so that would change it to... Okay. Okay, uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to, let's see. Alright, Sacred Crystal Root stores 500 HP, got it. Alright, so, okay, we'd have to go in there to change equipment, alright. Okay, so it just allows you mostly to be able to better see what you have available. Okay, Super Move is my Cutlass Fury, and I have zero Moonberries. I take it Moonberries open them up or change them, or, well, I don't know, we'll find out. Anyway, okay, I think that's enough looking around there. Let us move on, shall we? Alright, so, go ahead and move through here. See what we have in the bowels of the ship. Any, I don't see any extra doors or such, so just go ahead and push forward. Alright. Do, 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 da, de, da. Well, well. Air pirates have decided to infest my ship. Oh, hi. I am Alfonso, cherished son of Valua's most distinguished family and an admiral of the Imperial Armada. Well, how nice of you to introduce yourself, good sir. Normally, lowlifes such as yourselves would never have the opportunity to bask in such greatness. Consider yourselves fortunate. Yeah, right. Who's the girl? I never thought someone of your stature would stoop to kidnapping. Ha! Huh. You're very observant for a rogue. However, I cannot waste my time dealing with you. I simply must get going. I think I shall have you exterminated like the pests you are. Dispose of them. Or I could let him say it. Okay, so he's going much more high-pitched, douchey sort of voice. Dispose of them. Alright, I'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> Make him more douchey in, uh, I guess in turn. Alright, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Now that we are actually beyond sort of the, I guess, tutorial battle, I'm going to go ahead and focus my efforts on one of these at a time and try to take them down in the same turn. Because, or never mind, I could target the wrong one. So, it looks like, I don't know, the way it looks to me is you've got sort of a, a quasi, uh, a quasi moving battle. Oh, that did do it. Okay, never mind. It looks like you have something of a quasi, and I don't say active battle movement system in terms of that you've got actually got active battles going on all the time, but it kind of looks like they're moving around sort of what you would see with uh, Wild Arms, well, primarily Wild Arms 5 and Ultra Code F. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that'll work. Good job, girl. To where you have them kind of moving around the battlefield a little bit, although it doesn't really seem to mean much as far as it actually doing something. But I notice also you've got them kind of playing, moving around a little bit even when it's not their turn. And like I said, I don't know if that really means much of anything, but it's something I saw anyway. And I think I noticed another way to be able to tell which enemy you're hitting. I will, if we have another turn, I'll show off what I think I'm seeing, but eh, it looks like we're done. It looks like I need to heal uh, Aika in that a second. Was easy. Alrighty, so, well, we got a level up, it looks like. I will say, though, during the tutorial area, while we're going through this initial part for the ship, I'm going to go ahead and keep all the battles in, but basically later on... Oh, nice, we ranked... Oh, we ranked green up, cool. And there's your probably healing spell, I would expect. But I'm going to keep all the battles in, but I think as we go through the game proper, obviously I'm going to shift to editing out the random battles because it just, I don't know, it could be a bit much. Okay, uh, oh, okay, we have discoveries, and let's see. Okay, nothing in the journals, all right. And we've probably not made any discoveries. Oh, God, that's a lot of discoveries. Okay, six pages worth. Okay, let's see. Is there any way to use magic from 
the menu? Oh, here we go. Okay. It well, This is a little awkward. Well, I wouldn't say awkward exactly, but it's a little... A little unwieldy, the menu, but no, it's not too bad. It just takes a little bit more movement than I guess I'm accustomed to. Yay! So, does that mean I got a second Sacred Crystal, or I got two Sacred Crystals? I'm not sure. It's a little tough to see. Uh, I got, apparently, two Sacred Crystals. Okay. Alrighty. I think I'm going to wait to use the healing items for now, because I noticed they did get the HP boost when they leveled up. So, that obviously is going to help Aika, or Aika, Aika, I'm not sure how I'm going to pronounce her name. It's going to help her survivability. Okay. Oh. Okay, it looks like we have a new enemy here. Um, well, a couple of enemies. Um, I guess I'll keep this one in. I didn't realize we were going to get random battles quite so soon. Alright, let's just go ahead and take these soldiers out here. And I think we should be good to go in terms of killing them. Good job, Vice. Wasted crit. Reminds me of Pokemon, actually. <laughs> okay, good. So you're not hitting too hard. Oh, and a counter that... Wow, nice. Good job, girl. Okay, well, since we are running into random battles, if we... Unless we get a new enemy, I'll go ahead and cut him out for even in here. But story battles, I'm keeping in. Okay, cool. So he's got a red up, and you learn Pyrie, which I figure is fire. I don't think they're going to go too unconventional in the whole naming here. Uh, let's see. Okay, that'll just wheel me. Never mind. What? How did you defeat my soldiers? Hey, if you want my ship that badly, you can have it. I'll get another. I'm very busy. I don't have time to deal with you personally. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, screw you too, sir. Okay, let's see. Move around. Okay, good. I was about to say, let's move around and see if there's any treasure. Because obviously we need to do that first. And we get some monies, which is always nice. Oh, okay. Sorry, I uh, had a couple of guards and a soldier step in there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we'll just head through the ship and pick up what we can. Let's see. I know old... Fussy britches over here went this way, so... Let's see, okay, we got treasure here. Hi. Mag oh, two magic droplets, okay. I'm guessing that restores MP. Let me make sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. Alright, let's see. Yeah, restores one MP. And I noticed they don't have very much MP, which is why I'm reluctant to use any spells right now. I'd probably, probably be better off using actually one of the items in a spell. Is this our save point? This is our save point, so... Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and stop things here, and next time on Skies of Arcadia, we will continue on through the ship and see if we can figure out why this girl is on the ship, and what is going on with this silly Alfonso guy, and see if we can get our adventure really going here. So, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.